Hey everyone, this is John Darling with Velocio Cloud, and today I'm going to share with you how you can use Teams Planner functionality to help with your project management, all from within the Microsoft Teams client. So you're probably aware of how Teams and Channels and Chat and Meetings can work to help you move a project ahead, but you might not know that Teams already has a built-in tool to help you plan task lists for your ongoing projects. So let's go ahead and head into the Teams client. Click the ellipse here, and you'll see this logo for Tasks by Planner and To Do. If that sounds like a mouthful, it's because these used to be three separate apps that Teams has now bundled into one. So if you go ahead and click Tasks by Planner and To Do, you'll see the first thing we'll see tasks assigned to you. And it's likely pretty empty because you haven't created any quite yet, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be excited to dive in and take a look. You can create personal task lists, or more likely for projects, you'll be using the shared plans functionality. I've gone ahead and created a shared plan inside of the Fabricam project team. If you want to create a new list or plan, you can come in here and type in a name, select a team that you're a member of, and what channel to send it to. I've gone ahead and filled this out so that now whenever I go into my Fabricam project team, I can click this tab that says Fabricam task list and go ahead and see all of my planner tasks. We'll back up a bit and show how I got here, but let's just pause and appreciate that having all of your tasks built into your existing team will save you quite a lot of clicks. So to see how we populate something like this Fabricam task list and do a Fabricam project team, we can head back into planner and take a look at the shared plans list. You'll see them grouped by buckets, and these buckets are totally customizable. You can change the names and add as many as you like. If you prefer to see things in a bullet point list, you can click a list view to see things that way, or a chart to see what tasks are less left, and even a schedule view to see when these are due. Whenever you create a task in a bucket, you can just click add a task and it can be as simple as giving it a name, a due date and assigning it to someone. But you can go a lot deeper than that. For example, under this requirements tab here for gathering customer requirements, I can assign it to one of my colleagues, choose the bucket, give it a progress status, even a priority, a start date, due date, set whether it repeats or not, which is especially useful for recurring meetings, give it notes, add checklist, uh, sub lists here, attachments, and even add comments so your team can provide updates there um, as they move through their project list. And so if you see some buckets that sound like how your team usually moves through projects, whether you use the agile or waterfall methodology, it's easy to add buckets like that or anything that fits your needs. You can add a new bucket here. a new task, choose a due date, assign it to a member of the team, click add, and it's as simple as that. Now when you want to go in and edit the task later, you can do so. So if you have a project manager who would like to zip through these and create a lot at once, that's just fine and you can come back and add detail later. So hopefully this has spurred your interest to at least uh, give this a try with maybe some smaller internal projects and see if it makes sense to move to outward facing uh, vendor and customer projects as well. So definitely take a look at Teams Planner uh, and tasks and to do's. And if you'd like any help getting that set up, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to help here at Velocio. Have a great day and thanks for checking this out.